Hello, hello. Welcome to the Chicala Kitchen. So today, another gloomy day. I don't know when we're gonna get a few days in a row of some good sunshine, but anyway, um, we are going to be making a stuffed rolled chicken breast, some roasted zucchini, and a cheesy polenta for dinner. So I'm just gonna get started with grating my cheeses. I'm grating some fontina for my polenta and some parmigiano reggiano because I don't have any grated in my container and I will be needing that for the chicken and for the polenta and actually for the zucchini. We use a lot of parmigiano around here. I will be back shortly. Okay, so I have my cheeses grated. I have a couple of heads of garlic cut open sprinkled with salt, drizzled with olive oil. I'm going to wrap that up. And I have some tomatoes, cut in half, olive oil, salt, pepper, and thyme on top. You can use cherry tomatoes, whatever kind of tomatoes you have that are ripe. I happen to have Campari in the house, which I love, um, and that's what I'm using. These will go into my sauce later, so I'm going to get them in a 400 degree oven for about 20 minutes, so then I can set it aside. The garlic will take a little longer. The garlic will probably go close to a half hour. I want it nice and roasted and soft so I can squeeze it out. Cheese is going in the fridge till I'm ready for it and we'll be back. Okay, so I have some garlic sliced up in a little bit of olive oil with maybe a tablespoon of butter. And just as it's getting nice and soft and golden, don't let it get too brown, you don't want it to burn. I'm going to throw in spinach. I should have used a bigger bowl, but we all know it's going to cook down to nothing anyway, so it will be fine. Okay, and I'm going to saute this just until the spinach wilts down. I'm going to take it out, chop it up, and set it aside. This will be mixed into my ricotta filling for our chicken cutlets. So let's do this. I'm gonna throw a cover on this and we'll be back in a few minutes. While our spinach is cooking down, I'm just gonna show you. I have here a few zucchini that I cut in rounds, probably maybe a quarter of an inch thick. Coated them with olive oil, salt, pepper, garlic powder. I actually used roasted garlic powder, some smoked paprika, Toss them really well with my hands so that they all get coated. And then I'm going to add some Parmesan cheese, just a pinch of salt because the cheese is going to be salty. These will be roasted in the oven at 450 for between 20 and 25 minutes. Have to keep an eye on them and check for how your oven is doing. And these will be served alongside our chicken and polenta tonight. Back in a few. Okay. Our spinach is cooked. Here we go. We're just going to give it a chop. Here we go. This is going to be in the filling to our chicken cutlets. Chop the garlic right up along with it. It doesn't have to be minced. Just give it a good rough chop so you don't get a big piece of leaf in there. There we go. Okay, I'm gonna just hit it with a paper towel to dry it a little bit. I already drained the water out of the bowl before I put it on my cutting board. But there you go. Spinach has so much water in it, we don't want water refilling. So there you go. Okay. We're gonna put this in our bowl. This is the ricotta that I made yesterday. Fresh homemade. I can't even tell you how good this stuff is, guys. This is beyond delicious. So we are going to put some of this in here. And this is kind of gauged by eye as to what the consistency should be. I'm using my Danish dough whisk because I find it easier to mix up things like this. 
I would love to hear what you guys are doing for dinner or if you have anything you'd like to see made. There we go. Mm, that's so good. I can't even tell you. If you haven't seen it, I did do a video on how to make fresh ricotta. I do not use lemon or vinegar. This is very pure tasting. And this is the way my Italian grandmother made it. Okay. I have the Parmigiano Reggiano that I grated earlier this morning. And we're gonna throw some of that in there. Now my husband likes a little heat. This is completely optional, but I'm throwing in a few red pepper flakes. That is absolutely not necessary. Okay, just a pinch of salt and a little bit of pepper. I'm going to mix this up, go get the chicken, and we'll be back. Okay, so I'm going to show you on one cutlet here. This is a chicken breast. Oops. I made a pocket. Now, I did not cut all the way through. Just make a slice. Be very careful to get as close as you can to the edge, but just make a pocket. And put a good amount of filling in there. We want nice stuffed oops, pieces of chicken. I'm gonna make sure that it is well stuffed, but that I can still close it up. There you go. Okay, here's what we're going to do. I also did a video last week on how to tie a meat roll. This is where it comes in handy again. Make a knot right here. Oops, come on. My hands are wet. <laughs> we're going to make a loop, go through, and under, pull it up, save that string, I will need it later. Make another loop, get that stuffing back in there, it's trying to escape and we want it all. Make a loop, go through, let go. This is creamy, it is delicious. And we're going to pull this tight. Last one, loop. And through. Now, I'm going to pull this end up and shut this flap up as much as I can. Don't worry about a little bit escaping. It's not a big deal. Pull it around back, flip it over, and go through each of these loops. There we go. Oh, I'm making a mess here. This is goopy. This, oh, I lost my string. Oh, here it is. Tie it up. And there we go. Okay, I'm going to finish up and then we'll be back. Here we are. So, I always have some fresh breadcrumbs in my freezer from any bread one or two slices that's laying around here after a few days and I put them in the food processor and I make my own breadcrumbs. So I season them with some grated cheese, some dried spices, and I just simply rolled the chicken rolls in them. I didn't coat them in anything, I just rolled it in the breadcrumbs just to give it another texture. I have maybe a tablespoon of extra virgin olive oil in the bottom here. I don't want to put too much oil in because once these are cooked up, 
I'm putting this in now. There's a light sizzle. They will be cooking. I'm going to brown them on all sides. We're going to take them out and we'll be back to make a luscious sauce. What I have here is butter, flour, I have heavy cream, I have fresh red pepper, and I have some of my homemade veggie stock. We are going to, oh, and I have the tomatoes we roasted earlier. When they came out of the oven, I let everything cool, and then I squeezed that roasted garlic out into here. All of that is going to go into a delicious sauce. This will be served over polenta tonight. Now, I'm out of my regular polenta. No snobs around here. I don't do it often, but if I have to use instant polenta, this is the only brand I use. They don't know me from Adam, so I'm not sponsored or anything, but it's pretty damn good if it's not perfect. We'll see you in a few minutes. Hey, everybody. So those chicken breasts were browned beautifully. They were quite large. It was just me and my husband tonight, so I bought two of them, but they were really large. So just to make sure that they were completely cooked through, I put them in the oven for about 20 minutes um, because nobody wants to eat undercooked chicken. Okay, so I melted here about, I think it was like six tablespoons of butter. And I've got about a half a cup of flour. And I'm going to whisk that in. This sauce is so good, guys. And it will be flavored with the chicken. So we just want to whisk this and cook out that raw flavor for a minute or so. And then I have here about three, oh, let me see cup and a little, little over a cup and a half of heavy cream. And I have my veggie stock out of the freezer. Okay. Look at that. See that beautiful color? That's from all those brown bits from the chicken on the bottom that we want to save. What does Ann Burrell always say? Brown tastes good. Brown is flavor. Okay, so I'm going to whisk in this cream. Not that I presume to be Anne Burrell, but she's one of my favorites. There's not a whole lot of those TV chefs that I really like, but her and I love Alex Bonicelli, maybe because they cook Italian, but they actually seem to cook the way real people would. Okay, let's see what we got here. Now I took this out of the freezer. It looks like there might still be a piece of ice in there, but that's okay because it will melt as it's cooking here. Check this out. We are going to simmer this down till it thickens some. I'm going to give it, again, this is optional. This is for my husband, he likes a bit of heat. So I'm putting in a little bit of red pepper. I have to tell you a funny story. Yesterday, I opened a new jar of Calabrian chilies and it was a brand I'd never bought before. And different brands can be different. Now Calabrian chilies are very hot. But I said to my husband, who always says he likes the hottest of the hot, can you try this for me? If I tell you I put the tiniest amount on a spoon and asked him to try it to gauge the heat level so I know when I'm cooking. Two hours later, he told me he was still feeling warm. <laughs> Those things are hot. Okay. We're going to let this simmer till it thickens a bit. We'll be back to add our tomatoes and garlic. I think I'm going to give it a pinch of salt now and some pepper. We'll let this simmer till it thickens up. 
We'll be back to add our chicken. Okay, here we go. It's thick, it's creamy, thickened. We're going to add our tomatoes and garlic. I'm gonna try not to add too much of the oil, though it's very flavorful. I just don't want the sauce to be oily. I will put a little bit of it in, but not much. Okay. We're going to stir this up. I have to tell you, I tasted it for seasoning. It is luscious. Cover this and let this simmer for a few minutes. Let's give a little tomato dressing here. Excellent. And then we'll be ready to serve. See you in a few. And here we are. Buon cibo, buon amici. Look at that. Good food, good friends. By the way, guys, if you like zucchini, these are awesome. And here is our chicken rolls stuffed with our luscious cream sauce with roasted tomatoes sitting on a bed of cheesy polenta. When my polenta was done, I stirred in some butter and the fontina cheese that we grated earlier. Enjoy, good friends, good food, have a wonderful evening, and please come back and see us again.